No one would argue heart attacks and strokes aren't life-threatening emergency situations. But traditionally, those patients have not always been treated in the same way as those with traumatic injuries. Trauma was easy because you could see someone was severely injured and needed immediate attention. While it's national protocol for victims of car accidents to be transported to trauma centers trained to treat those patients, heart attack and stroke patients often are simply treated at the hospital they arrived at, regardless of that hospital's ability to treat them. Heart attack and stroke are similarly life-threatening, and the faster care is provided for patients with either heart attack or stroke, the better the outcome will be. That's why Missouri is the first state in the country to recognize this disparity and pass legislation with a time-critical diagnosis task force equating stroke and heart attack to a trauma. Those three have recently been uh, put together in the state legislature as uh, critical events that we need to get people to the appropriate center, trauma center, stroke center as such, as quick as possible. In the case of stroke, doctors say time is brain. And in the case of heart attack, time is also critical with hospitals encouraging treatment with balloon angioplasty within 90 minutes of a patient's arrival. A number easily met by Dr. Bach's team. Barnes Jewish is one of the nation's leaders in heart attack with survival rates among the nation's highest. Many hospitals don't have a cardiac cath lab and one of the treatments, particularly for heart attack, is to have angioplasty procedure to open up that blocked artery. In order to provide that as rapidly as possible, the system will um, essentially uh, mandate an integration of the services so that that person can arrive at any hospital and that hospital will have a means of either taking care of them immediately themselves or transporting them to a center very rapidly that can provide the kind of treatment that can potentially save their life when they're having a heart attack. Even with the protocols we've determined that the people who are sickest can get flown to a trauma center or spend a short period of time in a regional hospital and then quickly transferred on to a trauma center. Maybe not, we can't get everyone, especially from rural areas, here in an hour, but the idea is, is still to get them here as quick as possible because mostly the interventions they need can be done at the higher level trauma centers. Dr. Scher and Dr. Bach are members of the Time Critical Diagnosis Task Force in Missouri. While the law went into effect in 2009, final implementation of the law should be in early 2010.